Thank you very much. So good afternoon. My name is Giuseppe Falci. I come from University of Catania. And I will speak today about uh, adiabatic manipulation of multi-level artificial atoms, uh, uh, presenting some recent results we, we got uh, in, uh, in our group. Uh, um, it, it, it's a pleasure to be here in Trieste, and I thank the organizers to be invited, but it's a much greater pleasure to be here for the, for the 60th birthday of, of Boris Schuller. And, uh, and of course, we, we are all speaking of uh, quantum coherence in the solid state, which uh, uh, Boris pioneered uh, long ago. Not, not that long ago, but some times ago. But then, then, then it, was, it was a flurry of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of physics. And one of these branches has been uh, quantum computation and, uh, and and quantum bits in solid state devices. And here in, in this audience, there are Yuri Pashkin and Professor Tsai, which uh, made uh, a, a great breakthrough in, uh, in this direction. And uh, since the conference is called Frontiers of Nanoscience, one of these frontiers is building quantum coherent hybrid networks. So I, this is my personal uh, roadmap in short. And, uh, uh, today, uh, I will be concerned about artificial atoms, which are uh, basically solid space state mesoscopic devices with functionalities of atoms. And uh, uh, superconducting based artificial atoms are, uh, are uh, quite a well developed uh, uh, class of devices which uh, uh, present uh, definite advantages with respect to natural atoms. So some flexibility of design which allows several uh, the same solution to be uh, implemented. And, uh, and, and the fact that it is easy, um, it, that it is easier to, to integrate such system and, uh, and for instance, uh, couple uh, these quantum bits with uh, quantum bits with, with cavities and then uh, thinking to uh, uh, more and more complicated architecture. And other advantages are listed here and uh, tunability, stronger couplings and, uh, and the fact that one can use these cavities means that uh, uh, signals can easily produce, detected, and photons can be uh, 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 confined in one dimension. So there are uh, many, many advantages. Disadvantage is, is, is the coherence. The coherence uh, in, uh, in such devices is, can be due to several uh, source, sources uh, which depend on which kind of device we are considering. Let's say there is usually a dominant source and a subdominant source and, uh, and noise is broadband and colored with a low frequency part which is almost one over f, and, and high frequency quantum noise. These are general characteristics. And uh, the uh, major drawback for these systems is the coherence, as, as I was saying, but uh, tremendously, uh, fig uh, figures tremendously improved in the last few years. This is basically people were able to fabricate highly noise protected qubits. The recipe is that uh, suppress the low frequency part uh, of, uh, of the dominant source of noise. This is the main reason. And to do that, one design uh, a, a Hamiltonian with certain symmetries. And uh, uh, in recent years, these also subdominant sources, which are responsible for spontaneous decay, uh, this action has been limited by the use of uh, uh, suitably engineered environment, which uh, in particular, uh, three-dimensional cavity uh, design. And, and, and the improvement in, in figures since 1999, figures of noise, has been uh, several order of magnitudes. These are, these are the, 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 the coherence times from the, from the first experiments to the most recent one. OK, the, this is the summary of this part. The point is that all these advantages uh, uh, cannot be combined always in, uh, in, a, in, a, in an easy way. 
And, and there are things that may give uh, some pro problem. An example is, is the so-called Lambda network, which will be concerned in this, uh, in this, uh, in this talk. This, the, the Lambda network is a system, uh, the, the easiest uh, realization is a system of three levels which are connected by uh, two lasers in this uh, configuration which is called the Lambda. Uh, the, the, the important fact about this uh, uh, kind of system is that uh, uh, it displays interference effects in that uh, population is trapped uh, despite the lasers pump population in this level two, the population is trapped in this, uh, in this low energy doublet since uh, amplitudes, uh, 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 amplitudes uh, if, if, if this system is in a particular state called dark states, amplitudes uh, uh, for transition interfere uh, destructively. And this phenomenon is, is, a, is the basis of several effects in, uh, in atomic physics. And uh, these effects uh, have been observed in, recently in individual atoms, and some of these effects have been observed in multi-level artificial atoms. For instance, this is uh, the opening of the outer tones splitting uh, in a three-level uh, phase qubit. Uh, the motivation for studying these uh, phenomena is that uh, uh, this physics may give advanced control tools for quantum networks. And uh, the perspective is uh, to use them in highly integrated uh, uh, systems. Uh, what we will, I, I will tell you uh, today are two applications. One is, uh, is, is so-called two plus one stirrup, which may allow to uh, uh, to see some three-level coherence, important three-level coherence in a highly protected lambda system, and, uh, and that the same physics can be used to amplify the detection of ultra-strong coupling with, uh, of artificial atom to cavities. So, <clears throat> uh, we will, I, I will mainly apply this tool which is called stirrup uh, and it is as follows. This is the Hamiltonian of a three-level system driven by two atoms and if this uh, field the tuning is zero, this Hamiltonian uh, supports instantaneous uh, eigenstates which are called dark states which are a superposition only of state zero and one so the population is trapped, is coherent population trapping. And if we let evolve uh, 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 adiabatically the system, for instance, by varying this amplitude in a, uh, in a sufficiently slow way, we can uh, change the, uh, the, 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 uh, the dark state in the, in the Bayer basis and uh, uh, by shining uh, uh, a sequence of pulses in this, uh, in this order, we can, uh, for instance, completely transfer population from zero to one, we never occupying two. This Protocol is called uh, uh, stirrup, and, uh, and it, it, it is known in atomic physics since uh, a, a number of years. The main advantage of stirrup is that uh, coherence makes it, ma ma makes it robust, being uh, uh, sensitive basically to only to the two photon detuning, which is this quantity we would like to have equal to zero. If this quantity fluctuates, then one, have, one may have a, a decrease of the efficiency. This is the efficiency. And uh, if the two photon detuning is larger than 0, 2, 0, 4, uh, this scale, then, then the efficiency drops down if the, uh, while this is the single photon detuning, which may be large uh, two or three times uh, this scale, so it's not sensitive to this other parameter. Um, one has to say that this phenomenon, syrup, is, uh, is quite interesting because this population trapping, even if it is easily understood with a picture of the dark states, it is stable because of coherence and because it involves uh, several uh, uh, coherent effects in, 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 uh, in, in three-level atoms. Uh, this is why uh, demonstration of this phenomenon could be uh, important uh, 
in, uh, in artificial atom, since Stiram is a, is a benchmark for multi-level control in artificial atom. Another point of interest is that uh, since it's it is operated by uh, two lasers, it is a, an absorption emission cycle. So it is uh, a building block for processing in architectures. Okay. The point is that the steer up in artificial atom in lambda configuration has not yet been observed. The fundamental reason is the following, that in order to get large, uh, uh, large decoherence times, one has to bias uh, the Hamiltonian and some symmetry point. For instance, the, this is an external parameter, and these are the energy bands of this device, which are uh, symmetric with respect to this external parameter, and this is the, the uh, this is the, the phasing rate which is minimal at this uh, uh, at this point. But at the same symmetry point, symmetry may cancel couplings, and indeed it cancels uh, uh, the coupling needed to to implement uh, the the pump pulse. So I mean the system is clean, but we cannot uh, we cannot drive it. Uh, so, which may be the solutions to this, uh, the way out to this problem? O of course, the first thing is breaking parity symmetry. So, work with an, with an asymmetric device. The point is that as long as one breaks parity symmetry, then one pulls inside noise. So, in a sense, one has to optimize this symmetry breaking. And if you look at the device, a valuable device, you can get uh, perhaps 70% efficiency uh, uh, um, this, is, this calculation was for, was a, for, a, for a charge qubit, for flux qubit, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's basically the same discussion. Sorry? Uh, 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 okay, QG is in, in case of charge qubit, it's the gate charge. Uh, in, in the various implementation, is an external parameter that you can bias. And you can choose this external parameter in order to have a device with symmetry or not. If you work at symmetry, it's clean. But you have no couplings. <laughs> so this is. Uh, what I'm, I will look here is a proposal to, to work at a symmetry point when, where there is not uh, uh, such direct coupling, and see whether we can, uh, in a realistic device, implement this, uh, this uh, coupling with, for instance, a two-photon pump. This scheme, which is called uh, two plus one stirrup, uh, is known to yield poor efficiency, at least in atomic physics. What we will show is that we, if we combine this scheme with uh, some advanced control, then we can have uh, nearly 100% efficiency in highly uh, in highly protected uh, uh, devices uh, nowadays available. So, I mean, this is a bit the story of, la of uh, two plus one stirrup. So what I have, I have a device and, uh, and I couple a field with uh, three tones. This is the Stokes uh, uh, AC field and this is the pump. Uh, a, uh, the two uh, photon pump pulse, and, and I allow for some slowly varying parts of these pulses. So the Hamiltonian is something like that, and uh, the selection rule uh, uh, tells that this is zero, whereas I would like to have something different from zero here to, to implement lambda stirrup. Then the goal is that how can we find a an effective uh, an, an Hamiltonian H3, which is equivalent uh, to the lambda scheme. So, I mean, which has an effective Hamiltonian, which is the uh, Hamiltonian we like. So, we work under some standard hypothesis for, uh, for the drive. And uh, if we do that, we can uh, derive an effective Hamiltonian, technically by a mass Magnus expansion. And, uh, and derive a structure that is the same structure of the desired uh, Hamiltonian. In particular, here you find that uh, one has an omega p and omega s, uh, which, are, which, are, uh, 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 which are these matrix elements. It has the same structure with uh, some effective two-photon pump, 
and uh, something appearing on the diagonal uh, uh, on the diagonal of this Hamiltonian, which is related to dynamical star shifts. So, if we use uh, somehow these two photon pa uh, pump pulse to, uh, to, 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 to have stir up, we will, will not have stir up at all. This is the population in the target state which goes to zero. This is the population on the initial state and this is the population on the state two which should be unpopulated. The point is that uh, uh, the protocol is really sensitive to two photon detunings and uh, star shifts yield dynamical two photon detunings. So how, how can we do? We just uh, study, try to find a phase modulation which uh, makes uh, zero these entries, in particular this one. And if we do that, uh, we recover 100% efficiency for, for stir up. Uh, the nice thing is that this phase modulation is pretty easy to find. It may have, in simple cases, uh, an analytic form related to the uh, uh, pulse shapes I'm working to. And more importantly, in practice, it, it can be easily implemented in the microwave domain. And it has actually something similar, a kind of control with the same numbers have been implemented uh, in uh, uh, last year in, uh, in, a, in a paper of Valraf of group uh, of, at ATH. So I mean, this, uh, this protocol can work uh, uh, in principle. Let's see if it works in practice and let's uh, try to study for instance, uh, a flux qubit, uh, having in mind uh, uh, the numbers of, uh, of technically uh, is a four junction flux qubit, and, uh, and we uh, take into account uh, many levels and some decoherence, but the point is that uh, effectively one can uh, find a large transfer efficiency in, uh, in, uh, in such uh, in such devices in requiring times which are uh, well below the, the coherence time of the, of, of the device. Uh, another uh, appealing option is to use uh, really high quality, uh, high quality uh, qubits uh, uh, nowadays uh, available, uh, the so-called transmon to, 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 to achieve uh, uh, to achieve such, such a result. The point is that uh, this, this system have a nearly harmonic uh, spectrum. It means that, uh, that I'm never sure, uh, that I'm never sure to address the right transition. And the technical point is that since I, I, I need uh, some large power to address the two photon pump transition, I will, uh, I will have to take care of all the, of all the star shift I can produce. But uh, this, this is exactly the same discussion as before. It, it is simply more complicated. It, I will have to take into account uh, some more. Uh, I, I can calculate the, 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 the effective Hamiltonian. I, I would have to take into account some more complicated structure of uh, of two photon pump pulses and dynamical start shift, but the result is that one can again uh, find a scheme, a control scheme, uh, yielding 100% efficiency in a, uh, in a transmog. Here, times it uh, are uh, uh, 1.5 uh, uh, microseconds, whereas decay times are much larger, so again, it is well, well inside this time, and one can also think to repeat this protocol. So, I mean, this is, uh, this is the first message. We can uh, use uh, highly protected qubits and control put together to get uh, nearly 100% efficiency for such a kind of uh, three-level protocol, which uh, uh, I think it has some uh, uh, importance in manipulating uh, multi-level structures. Uh, Another issue we can uh, we we studied uh, with uh, with uh, trying to apply this phasing, physics is the detection of ultra strong coupling of artificial atoms to cavities. So, <coughs> I mean, 
ultra strong coupling is a regime of coupling of an atom to uh, 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 some harmonic modes, uh, which goes beyond the James Cummings model and presents uh, uh, also counter rotating terms. Uh, and, this, uh, and these counter rotating terms cannot be neglected when this coupling constant is of the order of the, of the cavity. Uh, frequency, which is also of the order of the atomic splitting, if you work at resonance. Uh, the idea is that uh, is the scheme of, uh, of the level scheme of, of a two-level atom coupled uh, to, a, to an harmonic oscillator with 0, 1, 2 uh, uh, photons. And uh, in the James Cummings model mixes uh, these doublets here, whereas in the presence of the of, of these counter-rotating terms, uh, there are other couplings, these lines here, which enter into, which can, in, can, can come into play. So, I mean, a characteristic of this, uh, of this uh, uh, model of ultra-strong coupling is the, uh, so to speak, the ground state is not anymore uh, the zero photon state, but contains photons as components, uh, for instance, with two photons, with four photons, with one photon, three photons, and so on. So this, uh, this is quite hard to obtain in, uh, in, uh, in natural atoms, but it has been, uh, uh, but it has been observed in an artificial atom where some spectroscopic detection uh, of, of this coupling uh, uh, so of this structure of energy levels that has been uh, obtained in, in basically in uh, superconducting artificial atoms and in semicond semiconductor quantum wells. And uh, recently there has been a proposal to uh, uh, try to observe these effects in a, in a different way. I add a third level uh, uh, so I consider a three-level atom, and then I excite the system. And if this uh, ground state is connected to with other state, I should observe uh, uh, I should observe decay, in particular this decay from the state two to the state uh, uh, B, and, and then I, I will the state two uh, uh, will contain two photons, and I can detect two photons in the cavity. So if I excite from the, from the uh, B state, uh, uh, th this system I should observe uh, uh, in practice two photons. And there has been a theoretical proposal on, on that uh, uh, in 2013. The, point, the, the bad point of this proposal is that, uh, is that this probability, uh, which is related to the amplitude of the state in the ground state, is, uh, is, 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 is very small. So, I mean, it, the, the effect will, would be blurred. So, I mean, our purpose is that we, we can, can we amplify the output signal by coherence? And uh, basically the idea is, is uh, uh, sorry, the idea is, uh, is looking at this same scheme, but in the perspective of uh, uh, producing uh, some coherent population transfer, some still up from here to here via this intermediate state. And the point, uh, if one uh, tries to write a simplified Hamiltonian for that, for this process, uh, this process will take place if I will have some component of this state two on the, on the ground state of the, of the cavity atom system. And, and so uh, this component I will have if I, if, I, if I have a substantial ultra strong coupling. So I can have, uh, Coherent population transfer is a, is a smoking gun for this, uh, for this coupling. The point is not only, it is not only a smoking gun, it is something that in the best instance gives me 100% population of the, of the target state. So a high output. So, I mean, it's a, it's a way uh, to, to it's a very effective way to detect this, uh, the, this ultra strong coupling. And, uh, since, I mean, I can uh, address the, tran the, the transition in a faithful and selective way. Uh, of course, also here, I will have problems with dynamical star shifts. And uh, in practice, the point is that since this C02 is uh, pretty small, uh, 
uh, is pretty small because it's uh, even if, if it, uh, a large coupling can be built, this is limited uh, to, to, to a fraction of the, of the natural frequency of the, of the resonator and of the atom. And this means that this C02 is, is something like 0.07. So you, one needs a large, uh, a large Stokes field uh, to, to, uh, uh, to induce uh, enough transfer. And this large Stokes field uh, 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 induces huge star shifts. But we know these star shifts can be can be compensated, uh, can be compensated with, uh, uh, with the suitable phase modulation. This is in a, in a three level, three, four level perspective. There is something which is even nice. If I really consider uh, uh, more and more levels of the, of, the, of the atom cavity system, and these are all the couplings I, I need to consider for uh, for, uh, for having uh, uh, all the couplings which enter in the dynamics, uh, and uh, most of them produce star shift, but most of them produce star shift which, has out, which are autocompensated. So at the end, if I do nothing, if I do, uh, do this simple protocol, I will have, uh, in a, uh, I will have a, a really a, a decent result. If on top of that I, I, I can, I'm able to do some control as, as the one I showed be, before, I can uh, get 100%. Uh, another problem is that how to produce a stronger coupling in, uh, in, in such system. Of course, there is a recipe which says uh, if you can couple uh, a single atom with a decent coupling constant, then uh, 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 if you are able to couple more atoms, this coupling constant will scale according to this, uh, uh, to this rule, and n is the number of, of atoms one couples. And here one sees the spectrum of, uh, of two different systems, one with, I think, uh, four atoms, uh, and the G, which is half, uh, that, that, um, one with one atom with a, with a certain G, uh, which, uh, which is here, and then with four atoms with a, with a G, which is half, and the spectra are pretty similar unless they deviate at this, uh, at this level, but we are uh, interested to this region of this uh, diagram. So, I mean, this scaling, uh, it's, it's pretty okay. And uh, indeed, we can try to work out uh, easily the case of stirrup via two intermediate levels. Uh, actually, this is the Hamiltonian. I have uh, uh, these two uh, atoms which are connected with these two intermediate levels, and these two intermediate levels are the, uh, uh, the full Rabi ground state with one of the atom and the B state of the other one, and vice versa. If I really make a, a transformation on this Hamiltonian, what I can realize is that I can uh, uh, transform this H in an H which is effective three level, but with uh, the square root of two, the square root of two uh, amplification factor. So I mean, if I'm able to put more uh, uh, atoms, integrate say uh, 16 artificial atoms in a cavity, which is uh, pretty feasible, I can I can have a, a, a coupling constant which is four times larger and guarantees me uh, an observable effect. Uh, this, uh, however, this uh, uh, generalization to many couple of atoms is not trivial because one may have uh, new transition and come into play and one may realize uh, several of these situations in which instead of having a, a lambda system, one, one has a uh, so-called tripod system, and this completely spoils stirrup. But one can operate with the tuning just to manipulate this transition in an effective way. One can detune this one, uh, keeping this resonant. And on top of that, uh, this effect of uh, autocompensation of stark shifts, uh, it's, it's quite fantastic in, in that uh, even if I do not uh, if in I, even if I do not uh, uh, operate uh, uh, any compensation on, of any adjustment, I can get 92% efficiency just taking all the, 
all the matrix elements with, the, with all the higher energy levels, and this is 92 efficiency, percent efficiency of, 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 of transfer. The, the huge problem for this proposal is the fact that uh, uh, somehow uh, we cannot choose to couple E and G and not to couple B. So I mean, if we have a three-level atom, both may be coupled, and if there are, they are not separated enough, then the new coupling opens uh, a James Cumming channel for the process uh, zero B to B, which is our smoking gun. What, what I mean is that if I have, uh, uh, if also the third level is coupled, uh, the stir up is not anymore a smoking gun for, for, for uh, a smoking gun for ultra strong coupling. And one can see that, uh, that uh, this G prime, uh, uh, this G prime is the coupling, uh, is the stray coupling. If I, if I have a G, which is the good coupling, equal to zero, and G prime different to zero, I have already 90%. So it is not anymore a smoking gun. The point is that uh, to be, in order to be uh, the main transition, I have, to, I have to satisfy some condition on the spectrum which actually is never met uh, in uh, superconducting artificial atoms. However, uh, I mean, these, these conditions are that basically this coupling has to be large and this has to be small, and usually this is a flux qubit, exactly the opposite uh, happens, or this and this, these two frequencies have to be very different, and if you look at another uh, example, which is the transmon, which is promising for observing that, you, you, you see that this other condition is not, is not met. However, one can uh, look at, uh, at, this, at, at a different scheme of, uh, of, uh, of population transfer, which is the V scheme. So instead of adding this third level on the bottom, add it on the top. And this is the level scheme with large coupling here. This is exactly the level scheme of a flux qubit. In this case, uh, uh, this population transfer for this state to this uh, occurs via an intermediate state which contains uh, this, uh, these two photon components. And, uh, and the important issue is that uh, uh, this is a smoking gun for ultrasound coupling. So if I have not uh, uh, ultrasound coupling, I I get these Rabi oscillations. So if I have ultra strong coupling, I get population transfer. With no, uh, with no, uh, with no ultra strong coupling, the population on the target state will be zero. So again, this transition uh, it it is uh, is detected with nearly 100 percent efficiency only in uh, in uh, in this situation. And uh, okay, I think I. Uh, I said uh, what somehow I had to uh, tell you, and uh, as a summary, uh, just just I would uh, try to show that multi-level coherence in artificial atom it's uh, quite important because it may allow uh, quantum control in complicated architecture, and, and that stir up is a benchmark protocol for that, and. Uh, uh, Stir up in lambda configuration can be, uh, can be observed in, uh, in, uh, in highly symmetric protective superconducting artificial atoms using uh, a kind of control which is uh, uh, quite easy in the microwave domain as opposite at the optical domain. And that some new physics can be studied uh, as the uh, coherent amplification of ultra strong coupling, uh, of, uh, of, of the detection of ultra strong coupling by, uh, by stir up in, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with an electromagnetic cavity. So, this is, uh, uh, this is a final part of the talk, which is some congratulations to Boris in Italian, which is cento di questi giorni, which is. Uh, Typical for birthdays. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs>